welcome to Cook with Johnny Burnett. Me here, back in the kitchen in Bristol, and we have the most stunning seafood recipe for you to try out. Pan fried cod, crushed herby potatoes, green beans, and the most delicious roasted red pepper, roast tomato, and basil sauce. It's absolutely fantastic. And even better now, I have a brand new company which delivers the best seafood from Cornwall straight to your door, the Conscious Fish Kern, making sure we do fishing right. The first we want to do is half the tomatoes and half the red peppers, take the seeds out, pop them on a roasting tray, drizzle with olive oil and roast in the oven for 30 to 40 minutes until you get them lovely and cooked and all the flavour is oozing out, ready to make the base of this sauce. Okay, now the red peppers and the tomatoes are in the oven, we're going to go and make the base of this sauce. We need two sticks of celery, half an onion roughly chopped, two cloves of garlic, sweating down in the pan with oil and salt. And we're just going to pop a couple of sprigs of rosemary into the base of the sauce to lift that flavour even more and make it taste magnificent. Okay, so the onions and celery etc is cooking. Now we're going to get six new potatoes, pop them in some cold water, a little bit of garlic, rosemary and olive oil, get it onto the heat and get them to the lovely boiled potatoes so we can crush them and run some parsley through it. When the onions and celery have finished sweating around 10 minutes, then add a teaspoon of butter in there to add more flavour and richness. Whilst everything's cooking, now's a good time to prep your green beans. I got these absolute beauties from Hugo's Green Grocers in Bedminster, as they always do. They're fabulous, I'm just going to top and tail them. Okay, so in 30 to 40 minutes are up, bring those tomatoes out of the oven, and you can see how they've cooked all the way through. That's just so much flavour happening right now, and it's going to make this sauce taste incredible, rich, and you'll get that beautiful concentrated tomato flavour which is just going to sing and dance with the cod and the rest of the ingredients. Put all the tomatoes into the pan with the onions, add 350 millilitres of water and then we're going to add five basil leaves as well. This adds so much flavour and all the juices and all the flavours from everything will absorb. We're going to cook it for 10 minutes and then blitz it up to get the consistency of the sauce which we want. So the new potatoes, they're cooked. They're nice and soft. We still got a bit of that garlic and rosemary carried through with it. And now we're just gonna add a handful of chopped parsley, a bit of olive oil, a touch of lemon juice and some salt, crush it all up and leave it on a pan, on the hob, very low heat to keep warm, ready to serve up with this delicious cod and the sauce. So we've got our potatoes, they are absolutely perfect. Give them a try if you like. You get acidity from the lemon, the herbiness from the parsley, and a lovely crunch to those potatoes. They are fantastic and they're going to be lovely with this dish. Okay, the tomatoes, they've been in there for 10 minutes now and now we're going to blitz it with a stick blender. And what you do after that is up to you. Pop it for a sieve for a very fine sauce or if you like me, I want it rustic, I want it authentic. So I'm going to have that lovely chunky bit of tomato with all the flavours you can still feel in there. So I'm not going to sieve mine, just a quick blend. And to the best thing about this is you can use any leftover sauce, and there'll be a lot of leftover sauce, as a soup, as a really winter warming tomato and red pepper soup. You have the best of both worlds. It's a stunning sauce for cod, but tomorrow or the next day, it's an incredible soup. And now we're gonna add our green beans into some seasoned boiling water. All right, now for the showstopper, we've got a beautiful cod, lovely, chunky, amazing bit of seafood. We're gonna get a non-stick pan, nice and hot on the hob. We're gonna pop the skin side down, three to four minutes. And then we're gonna turn it over so it's a flesh side, you've got a crispy skin. Another three minutes onto the flesh. Okay, so we're gonna get a little mold like this. And just pop your potatoes in there. Make them nice and compact so they hold a good shape. And now just these green beans going into the side, like so. Finish off with this crispy bit of cod there. And now just this beautiful sauce going all around there. And there you have a wonderful cod dish. And now for my favorite part, tucking in and enjoying this lovely winter warming seafood dish. 
It doesn't have to look incredible, you know, but you can smell that basil, that tomato just coming through this and I'm just buzzing. The skin is perfect and crispy. And now let's have a try. Mmm. I mean, that is fantastic. It's the sauce and the cod. It just goes so well. I can literally sit here and eat 10 of these. Mm. That truly is fantastic. Make sure you try this recipe. This really is the perfect winter seafood dish. So enjoy it and tune in next week. And do make sure you go and check out a Conscious Fish Co. We're always going to be delivering the most sustainable seafood possible, looking after both you, the customer, and the fishermen themselves. Have a wonderful week, and I'll see you next week with Cooking with Johnny Burnett.